This is Susan Lushas from DebugYourHealth.com. Today we have my, daughter, my youngest daughter, Sabrina, who's been complaining about stomach aches for about a week. We've been ignoring her because sometimes children have stomach aches and they miraculously go away, so we've kind of been ignoring that. But she's been saying it consistently for about a week now. Sabrina, does your tummy hurt right now? Yeah, can you show us where it hurts? Mm -hmm. Oh, right in there, right in the middle. Okay, when we get around to testing, that's where I want you to hold on, okay? Okay, so we are going to um, test various supplements on Sabrina. I have made some guesses here. I have kind of my first tier of guesses and my second tier of guesses. Since this is my child, I kind of know where she is, what she's been doing, um, and things like that. So the f I'm going to explain what my guesses are, and then we'll get to our testing. And the overall idea here is that I'm, I don't know what's causing her tummy aches, but I'm going to try to figure it out by testing what tests well on her, in other words, what she's testing strong on, and that will tell us the solution. And the solution will tell us the problem. So the first supplement that I'm going to test on her is called the Cowden Lime Herb Protocol. We know Sabrina has Lyme disease, and this is um, Lyme disease, actually the number two symptom of Lyme disease is tummy aches. The number one symptom is joint pain. So whenever you have someone complaining of chronic tummy aches, Lyme disease is an interesting thing to consider. Um, so we have the whole box of Cowden herbs here, and she's already on it, but maybe we need to increase her dose. And then we have um, a probiotic that we put her on a couple of weeks back. I don't really like it. It's called HLC High Potency Powder. And I don't like it because it have, has FOS and inulin in it. And we know FOS and inulin feed dysbiotic bacteria as well as good bacteria. So I don't really like it, but it was highly recommended as something um, for Bacillus because Sabrina was testing a little low on her Bacillus. So I did put her on it, but maybe this is actually bothering her stomach and causing some dysbiosis. And the next thing I have is Floristore, which is a probiotic yeast that's very good at the stomach flu or the stomach virus. So just in case she's picked that up from school or she's fighting that in the background, Floristore should tell us that. The next thing I have is HCL uh, with pepsin. Sabrina was on this for many, many months to help her uh, stomach acid and digestion of food but now she's off of it. As of a couple weeks ago, she was testing as producing enough stomach acid, so we took her off of it. So it's possible um, that she actually does still need some. The next two things I have are two of my favorite probiotics, Ultimate Flora 50 and Kirkman Lactobacillus Duo. And then I have a vitamin uh, supplement with some other things in it called Homocysteine Response. I put her on this a couple weeks back. Um, just because she was testing well on it, and um, this might just be too much or um, be messing with some of her uh, her GI uh, balance. So we'll just test that because it's new. And then I've got CSA formula from uh, Woodland Essence, which is one of the Bruner herbs for Lyme. So those are my first tier of guesses. And my second tier of guesses, I've got, um, I'm not going to go through them all in detail, but I've got some of them for methylation because some of the, uh, for instance, the homocysteine response or some of the new things she's on may have shifted her methylation, some things in her methylation cycle. It might be broken in a different place than it was before, so she might need to change her methylation uh, vitamins. So I've got a couple of things related to methylation. I've got um, BioHPF and Gastromend. These are really good at H. pylori. So stomach aches can sometimes be caused by H. pylori infections. Uh, we know she did pick one up from preschool earlier in the summer, so that we thought we got rid of it, uh, but maybe we haven't. So these are for H. pylori. And then I've also got um, some just general drainage remedy. I've got a stomach drainage, I've got a small intestine drainage, and a bacteria drainage, just to see if any of those uh, might help with her stomach aches. Okay, so now we're going to get on to the testing part. And... I use my husband as a surrogate for Sabrina because um, it's easier for him to uh, be more consistent uh, with the testing because we have a lot of things here potentially we have to go through. 
So what I'm going to do is I put a small magnet on a piece of tape, it's super small, uh, and that's just to help make sure that I'm testing her and not him. So what I'm going to do is I put this on the back of his hand and then he, he usually puts her, his hand underneath her shirt just kind of on her stomach area. That's always just kind of a good place to contact someone. You could put your hand on their shoulder. Um, you know, you don't even need skin to skin t contact. You could just put your hand on someone's shoulder. But I just like to be double sure, so I like to use the magnet and I just like to put the hand on the skin. Um, instead of the magnet, I've seen people use any kind of metal, maybe a copper bracelet or anything like that. Um, so it does, you don't have to use the magnet either. It's just kind of the way that I've found works the best clinically to, to test Sabrina and to make sure I'm not testing my husband. So um, what he's going to do is he's going to hold his fingers together. Um, usually I test with the ring finger. But on him, usually he's so strong that I have to test with a pinky. So I'm going to test the strength of his, um, his thumb and his pinky. And Sabrina, I need you to hold your stomach. This is the part where you have to hold where it hurts. Is Papa's hand right where it hurts? Then why don't you ask Papa to move his hand over a little bit? Can you move it? Now you hold on where it hurts. Where does it usually hurt? It hurts right in there? Okay, you, you hold on right there, okay? And I usually say one, two, three, hold, and then I try to pull the fingers apart. It was pretty easy to pull them apart. So Sabrina, hold on your spot with one hand, and then in the other hand, I'm gonna have her hold this whole box of lime herbs. So she's just gonna hold that, one, two, three, hold. Oh yeah, I can't pull that apart. I don't know if the camera can really see that well, but one, two, three, hold. Yeah, that's not going anywhere. So let's take this off. And let's test again without it. One, two, three, hold. Pretty easy to pull apart. Okay, so it looks like she's having a little line flare up. Um, we have been doing some chelation work and breaking up some of the uh, biofilms and metals. We switched our enzymes uh, from serapeptase to natokinase. We've also done some lumbro. So um, we're really trying to work on the chelation and the biofilms right now. So it kind of makes sense that she might be having a Lyme flare-up. So that was why that was in my first tier of guesses. But I'm still at least going to go through this whole first tier just to make sure. So now she's got that new probiotic. One, two, three, hold. No, pretty easy to pull apart. So I'm probably going to take her off of that. Just because of the FOS and because of the Lyme. So now she's got the Floristore, which is the, um, the viral uh, stomach virus. One, two, three, hold. Pretty easy. Not much difference there. Um, the Lactobacillus Duo Probiotic. One, two, three, hold. Pretty strong. So we might switch her to that from the other probiotic. One, two, three, hold. That one's really pretty strong too. I can still pull apart on that, but it's pretty strong. And I've got the HCL. See if she's producing enough stomach acid. One, two, three, hold. Nope. She's good on that. The new uh, vitamin that she's been taking, one, two, three, hold. Pretty strong. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep that in the mix. And the other Lyme CSA from uh, Woodland Essence Bruner, one, two, three, hold. No, that's not how, that wouldn't help because that was super easy to pull apart. So while we're doing this, why don't I just go through the second tier just to just to check. Um, I'm going to go through just one of the uh, methylation things, her favorite one, L-methylfolate. Sabrina, she's my child. I know she often tests really well on this. So one, two, three, hold. No, nope, testing okay. So I'd say our dose of that is probably good. She's already on it. I'm going to look for H. pylori here. I'm going to have her hold both. Bio HPF, hold that one on your tummy. Um, you can also have them hold the, uh, the guesses or the supplements on their tummy to see, um, you know, they can hold it in their hand or they can hold it in their tummy. So she's going to hold that on their tummy and hold one in her hand. One, two, three, hold. Hmm. Pretty much about the same in terms of pulling it apart. So I'd say probably no H. pylori, so that's good that that's not helping. And I'm going to try her on a stomach drainage and the small intestine drainage. So let's do the uh, stomach first. One, two, three, hold. Nope, pretty weak there, so that means her stomach's draining okay. This is not helping. 
one, two, three, hold. Nope, the small intestine also not helping, which is actually a good sign. It means she's detoxing pretty well from those areas. So at the end, what I always like to do is I like to just go back through maybe the top two or three things that we're testing well and just make sure that they're, you know, just kind of verify my results. Um, I like to test that one more time. So I'm going to have mm -hmm. Sabrina hold this. Hold this on your, on your tummy. Okay, one, two, three, hold. Yeah, pretty strong there on the lime herbs, so she needs more of those. And then I'm going to have her test, um, test again on this uh, probiotic, because that was testing pretty well. Please, um, why don't you go ahead and hold that on your tummy as well. Let's just test it on your tummy. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, testing really strong on that. And let's try again. I'm thinking of putting her on this and... Uh, and taking her off of that one. So let's just test that one one more time. One, two, three, hold. Yes, super easy to pull apart. So she's going to, that one's not helping at all. In fact, I'd even say that's easier to pull apart than her uh, just baseline without any supplements. Um, I always like to get a baseline at the, at the beginning and, and her baseline, you know, kind of right now. Hold your tummy, hold your tummy. One, two, three, hold. Yeah, that's definitely, her baseline is definitely stronger than this probiotic, which is telling me that this probiotic is definitely not helping her. Um, so my conclusion with, with Sabrina and what we're going to do for her tummy aches is she's already on the Lyme medication, so we're going to double it. And, um, and my other solution, or the other thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take her off this probiotic and she's going to go on this one. Um, I could also take the time now to figure out how much more of the Lyme medication she actually needs, but I'm going to just say let's just try doubling it. I could go ahead and test that out, but she's getting kind of antsy here, and I think for now at least we know what the main problem is, and we can always test later when she's got more patients. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope this uh, debug of the stomach ache was helpful.